Hey everyone, this is Kathy from Whole Home and Body Health, and today I want to test the EMFs on an air purifier. So I've been getting a lot of requests lately about air purifiers and whether I find any issues with particular brands. So I've tested many. Uh, I do have one here. It is the IQ Air right here. These are some of the bigger air purifiers. It's actually one of the air purifiers that I like best for performance reasons. Um, I think it does one of the best jobs in capturing small fine particles and mold particles. Um, so I just wanted to show you what I found when I tested this unit. Okay, so this unit does not have any radio frequency capabilities. So um, I don't know the year of this model, but um, it, it is not RF enabled. It does not have Bluetooth or anything like that, thank goodness. So I'm not concerned about any of that. But what I am curious about is the magnetic field. So I'm gonna turn on my NFA 1000 to the magnet. Well, yes, so the unit is off. I'm gonna turn this on and we're gonna get an ambient reading to see if there's any magnetic fields just in the background. So I'm under point two, which is where we want to be for building biology guidelines. That's great. This home is relatively low. So now I'm going to turn the unit on. I imagine it probably will increase when I'm next to it. Oh, wow. That's a lot more than I expected. So 15 milligauss next to the unit, five. Let's see, uh, now about a foot away, so three milligauss about a foot away. One milligauss about three feet away. That's higher than I expected. So that's higher than I expected because most air purifiers I have tested do not actually have a magnetic field to this level. Um, so I'm gonna take it off the magnetic field setting and put it on electric fields and see what we got. So the electric field um, is fairly elevated and goes quite a distance too. Of course, I need to turn it off to be fair and see. So we've still got an electric field just because it's plugged in. Okay, so the electric field is about the same uh, whether it's on or not. But the magnetic field definitely much higher. So that is what I got off the IQ Air. Now, like I said, I've tested many others. Um, Austin Air, I, I have a lot of clients who have the Austin Airs. I do not find any significant readings from the Austin Air. Uh, a lot of Air Doctors. Um, likewise, I don't really find significant readings on the Air Doctor. Um, the Austin Air is a good air purifier. The, uh, the Air Doctor is okay. Um, it's not the best, but it's better than nothing. IQ Air still is my favorite. Even though it's got this higher magnetic field reading, you just have to remember to keep it at a safe distance from you. So you're not going to use it next to your bed, next to a chair or a couch or any living spaces. So you're going to keep it, when, you're, when it's turned on, you're going to keep it at least, you know, five feet from any place that you spend time. And then it's okay. But just so you are aware and so you know, um, every different, you know, item with a <clears throat> fan and a blower and a motor could potentially have magnetic fields and you always need to know and you need to keep it away from your body and you need to test it. So that is it on air purifiers. There's a whole lot of other air purifiers out there. I haven't tested them all. So if you're curious about yours, just be sure to test it. And that is it. So I hope you found that helpful. Like always, please leave any comments, concerns, questions below. I am always happy to interact with you. And if you subscribe, I would truly appreciate it so I can bring this information to more people. Okay, everybody, we'll see you next time. Bye.